Hello and welcome to TrueMan Technologies. In this video, we are introducing TrueMan RF admittance type point level switch model LSY suitable for bulk solids, powder, clinker and even with harsh environment conditions and up to 600 degree process temperature. TrueMan LSY available with PTFE or ceramic insulation, rod probe or flexible rope probe depends on the process requirement. Applications Truman RF admittance level switch model LSY can be used in bulk solids and powder like cement, ply ash, hot clinker, limestone and material having coat forming tendency. Flush mount probe construction for small insertion to avoid heavy impact of lumps, rocks and boulders etc. Process temperature maximum 250 degree Celsius with PTEP insulation and 600 degree Celsius with ceramic insulation. Operating pressure 20 bar maximum. Operating principle Truman LSY having three element probe that is earth extension, compensation shield and sensing rod which forms the capacitance that is shield earth capacitance, shield sense capacitance and sense earth capacitance. A sine wave of high frequency is feed into both sensing rod as well as compensation shield. Voltage at shield is equal to voltage at sense. No effective current flows between sense and shield. The same voltage or equipotential drive to sense and shield removes shield sense capacitance from the measurement. Shield earth capacitance is ignored by circuit. This removes the effect of material coating on probe which makes the probe selectively sensitive and by virtue of elastostatic loading of shield. It actually makes admittance device reverse sensitive in the shield earth region. Practically, once the material comes from bottom of the tank during filling and covers the sensor in this condition, capacitance will form between earth and sense and sensor detects the material. Features Truman admittance probe is compact in size, easy and auto calibration, universal power supply on same terminal, 15 to 80 volt DC or 15 to 260 volt AC, inbuilt settable switching delay for 5 seconds, active buildup compensation against material buildup, customized process connection threaded, fan jet, hygienic etc. Static charge safe for fly ash, plastic and other applications. Tropicalized seal electronic module and easy to maintenance. Various output options like transistor, PNP or NPN output, Namur output, 8 oblique 16 milliamps current output, etc. Operation Device operation and settings. Install the LSY into the tank properly and make sure sensor ground that is process connection should be connected to the metallic tank or hopper or silo. In case of non-metallic tank, we need to provide external metallic ground for better operation of LSY. Open the cover of Truman LSY and you can see there are 9 terminals. Terminal 1, 2 and 3 are for auxiliary power supply. Terminal 4, 5, 6 and 7, 8, 9 are for relay output. There are 6 tip switches provided on connection panel. Connect the power supply either 15 to 80 volt DC or 15 to 260 volt AC on terminal 1 and 2. Connect the earth on terminal 3 and switch on the power. Truman LSY is ready to calibrate in air. Make sure that material should be below the sensor. You can see LED 1 of process bar blink continuously and alarm LED is in off condition. Now we turn on the switch number 1 to calibrate LSY in air. The process bar LED will animate for 5 seconds. After 5 seconds all 6 LEDs are turned on. Now the 6th LED of process bar starts blinking and turned off. This means that the device is setting itself 1 pf insensitive when LED is blinking and 2 pf insensitive when LED is turned off. Per LED 
to current level of 2 pf sensitivity turn off the switch number 1 when third led of process bar is blinking now the device setting itself 5 pf insensitive to current level of 2 pf sensitivity the sensitivity selection is applicable for low dielectric or dry materials like fly ash hot clinker plastic chips etc now we fill the material solid or powder up to the probe level you can see the process bar leds start blinking and turn on one by one from one to six once the sixth led turn on immediately alarm led also turn on means material touches the probe will a status also change from nc to no now we empty the material you can see the process bar led starts blinking and turn off from 6 to 1 an alarm led also turn off means material goes below the probe level switch number 2 is to set dry delay means off delay on the dip switch number 2 and empty the material lsy will wait for 5 seconds once the material goes below the sensor and after 5 seconds it generates switching during delay cycle sensor avoids fault switching switch number 3 is to set wait delay means on delay on the dip switch number 3 and fill the material lsy will wait for 5 seconds once the material touches the sensor and after 5 seconds it generates switching during delay cycle sensor avoids false switching fail safe can be set via dip switch number 4 when the probe is installed for high level keep the dip switch number 4 is turn off fail safe high or maximum and when the probe is installed for low level keep the dip switch number 4 is turn on fail safe low or minimum how to calibrate set via dip switch number 6 for single point and horizontal installation when there is no material on the sensor probe turn on the switch number 6 all leds of process bar will animate for 5 seconds then led 1 of process bar blink continuously and other leds are off run empty fill empty cycle of material once to three times and turn off the switch auto calibration process is completed now you fill the material and check the switching performance you can easily replace the electronics as shown in case of any further technical support please contact our sales and support team